Well, we're getting a glimpse into the current state of the military at Fort Bliss in northeast El Paso, the state uh, where a familiar face is back to lead the troops. As News Channel 9's Tatiana Favela shows us, the new leader is seeing growth both on post and in our community. Here at Fort Bliss, the community is welcoming back a familiar face. Major General Patrick Matlock has only been here for 40 days, but he's already telling us his plans for the next few years. Back here at El Paso, we continually have units training in our training areas and we build readiness so that we're prepared to go uh, wherever our country asks us to go. General Patrick Matlock says he's prepared to take on the next two years here in the borderland. It's terrific for El Paso to have a commanding general who knows El Paso and appreciates it and uh, will work with uh, us to try to grow the presence here. From the last 40 days, Matlock says recent improvements on post have Fort Bliss in great shape. He's also noticed a stronger community and a stronger economy, which he believes will be a post of choice for troops. By making sure that there are jobs, educational opportunities, and a quality of life here, it would be the kind of thing that a soldier would want to, you know, to come to El Paso and be part of Fort Bliss. They love the training area, they love the ranges, they love the freedom to fly in the air that we uh, have as part of the post, and there's all kinds of other advantages that we have. In looking ahead, Matlock wants to make sure he and his soldiers are prepared to execute whatever missions are asked of them. These are going to be two terrific years to train and build readiness, and you'll see that level of activity on the post increase over the next couple of years by design. And Matlock tells us it's great to be back in El Paso after four years of being gone, and he's expected to be in command for the next two years. Reporting from Fort Bliss, Tatiana Favela, News Channel 9.